Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. I'm Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministry. This is our Music Minute that you've joined us for, where we're taking a look at the hymns we'll be using in worship tomorrow on the fourth Sunday of Easter. And um, that will be the Good Shepherd Sunday. So the hymns will reflect that, as you'll see. We're going to start with our gathering hymn, uh, which is Gather Us In. And this is a good example of a hymn that was written by one writer that's uh, was stimulated by a hymn that was written by another writer. Um, so this was written by Marty Haugen in 1979 after What Is This Place um, was sung. And at the occasion where Marty Haugen sang What Is This Place, which you may know, uh, he said that the presenter there described how the Dutch uh, writer of that What Is This Place hymn had created worship music for a creative Amsterdam church. So what Marty wanted to do is take what was in that hymn, where the lyrics are very concrete and physical, and he wanted to experiment with an American understanding of that same gathering together in, in Christ's presence. And the result was, gather us in. Next, we'll move to our hymn of the day, and that is The King of Love, My Shepherd Is, one I think many of us know and enjoy. This is based on Psalm 23, and verse 5 of this puts a chalice uh, at the table, and it's placed there by the shepherd uh, himself before us. So in our hymnal, that earns it a spot in the Holy Communion section, if you're looking by topics. Uh, but it's Good Shepherd Sunday, as I said, so what better time than to do the, uh, the 23rd Psalm? And the tune is St. Columba, and that is named for the Irish saint who founded monasteries and brought Christianity to Scotland. This is the King of Love, My Shepherd Is.
course, we'll do all six verses tomorrow. All right. Last but not least, we will go to our sending hymn, Let All Things Now Living. And this text was written for this tune, the Ash Grove is the name of the tune. It was probably written around 1925, so it's not new. <laughs> and the tune is a Welsh harp melody. And this melody was made known outside of Wales by a succession of harpists who became very popular in England in the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. This is Let All Things Now Living. draws us to conclusion for this week. Uh, we will not be singing uh, hymns during communion as we have a special guest um, choir singing tomorrow and they will be singing during communion. So we look forward to that as well. If you're going to join us in person tomorrow, those services are at 8.30 and 11 o'clock in our sanctuary and the 11 o'clock service will be live streamed on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining me this evening. Hope you learned something, had a good time and we'll see you again next week.